Hi, it's Vicky here today in Corel X6. Some new graphic features, new tools for in which I'm going to demonstrate. In this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate the smear tool. And the smear tool is a new feature in Corel Draw, and it's brought to you in the X6 version. So I'm going to demonstrate by using some basic vector image, which is what you're going to want to use with the smear tool. And uh, basic vector is just, I'm going to click on a shape and just kind of uh, move it around uh, just to demonstrate the simplicity of the tool and how it's used. You can, you can use it with your graphics if you're a graphic designer or if you're just wanting to play around and learn it. You can use this to save you a lot of time. In the earlier versions of Corel X4, X5 you had the nodes and the nodes were um, the little dots around the image where you could pull and drag them and that would stretch the image out or reshape it in a way that is more appealing. Um, so this smear tool is going to save you a lot of time if you're one who uses the nodes in the earlier versions. So I'm going to show you how to do that now just by clicking on a basic shape. We're going to start with the polygon and just create a shape on the page. I'm going to choose a color just to um, add some color to it. Let's create another shape. Let's make it a circle. Um, we'll make it a different color. Uh, let's make it, let's just say green. That's fine. Right click to change the stroke green as well. So, um, and then we'll grab maybe a square and just um, hold our control key down to get a perfect square maybe make it powder blue, right click on it to change the stroke. Okay, so now I have three shapes here I'm going to play around with. Now, I want to choose the shape in which I'm going to use the smear tool on, and in order to do that I want to use my pick tool. My pick tool will allow me to select an object on my document. We'll just change up and select this polygon here. Now, the next one down from your pick tool is your smear tool. If you uh, hover over that tool and then left click. You can see all the tools within um, this um, tool selection here. So we're going to be working with the smear tool. So I'm going to select that. Now as you can see I have a nib here and that nib moves with my cursor. Now if I want to change the size of the nib I can hold my um, shift key down and left click on my mouse and drag it to make it smaller or I can hold my shift key down, left, key, left click on my mouse to make it larger. So again, this is not a fancy graphic or vector image in any way. This is just basic information on how to use your smear tool. We've created some shapes on the page and I'm going to just demonstrate by using this smear tool the things that you can do with some of your fancy graphics and vector images. I'm going to make it a little smaller, holding my shift key, dragging down the mouse. Now I've got something I can work with. So I want and have selected this uh, polygon here. Now if I just take and, and click and drag out these shapes, I can pull these nodes out. These are nodes I was talking about in the earlier versions. Used to, uh, you just select a node and pull it, and you'd, you would just be pulling points and it would take a long time to accomplish a great deal of work that you can do with the smear tool. Now to make my smear tool larger to be more effective to the graphic I can just do all kinds of things here. Create something that looks wavy or pull out these nodes and just create something interesting uh, by just pulling on the shape itself. Uh, hold my shift key, make it smaller if I want to get more precise, I would use a smaller nib, and that's how that works. If you want to add color or something, again, choose your pick tool, there's your circle, and we can reshape this one as well. Do something fancy with it, I don't know. Maybe just create some effects around it, and then uh, maybe do something larger. Hold my shift key, make it a little larger, and just kind of warp it out a little bit. Okay. And 
you can do some pretty interesting effects using this smear tool. I think you get the gist. Pull these corners out. Do something like a star shape. I Not perfect, but close. And again, you can make it smaller, holding your shift key and dragging the, the nib to perfect anything. So again, this is basic, basic tool information on the new features within the Corel Draw X6. So you can reshape and reform any vector image by using your smear tool uh, with some of your most fancy graphics, things that would save you time uh, instead of using the nodes. And that's basic information on the smear tool within X6 Corel Draw. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is Vicki. I'm in the support department here at Condi Systems. And as always, I thank you for your time.